For restoring the bass drum hoops, I am taking the bass drum apart in order to face the reality. There's a lot of unexpected glue on the shell. I have to remove it somehow. I have to repaint the hoops, clean and complete the wrap. And correct the shape of the hoops. I am removing the old wrap carefully. I don't want to damage anything. I have to complete it. Luckily I have some spare piece. And I have to get rid of the old glue. I have to remove the old paint from the hoops. I am trying different methods, but it is a lot of work anyhow. It looks almost ready for painting. The cracks and holes need to be filled with filler paste. Then, of course, more sanding comes. But before that, I definitely have to put some repair glue in this crack. Now this hoop is ready for painting. I am using semi-gloss acrylic paint. The weather is windy, which makes it a bit more difficult, but I try to do my best. The wood is dry, so luckily the paint is drying fast. I'm going to paint it in two layers. I think that will be enough.
Everything is ready, so it's time to finish the hoops. All I need is a repair glue, plastic spring clamps, I have just two of them, and a kitchen towel since I'm working with glue. With the kitchen towel, I'm not just removing the residue of the glue, but I'm also removing the air under the wrap. While the glue is drying, I am trying to remove the old glue from the bass drum shell. But scratching by nail doesn't seem to be enough, so I tried the good old white spirit. Yeah, it doesn't work either. So here comes the secret weapon, which are the scissors. Well, the bottom end of them. There they are, the renovated bass drum hoops. I think they look quite okay. It's time to put the new heads on. For Tom's I am using Evans Genera 2 coated for top. For the bottom I am using the most innovative Rezo head of Evans, which is a coated head named Rezo 7. Unfortunately, Omati shells and hoops not always compatible with the modern drum heads. As it can be seen, the Evans head is quite loose on the shell. And it doesn't fit into this hoop. So, in this case, better to have a spare one. For the bass drum, I am using a Evans Emad coated head. For the front head, I am using a Evans EQ3 Rezo coated head and a kick port. It gives a warmer and more punchy sound with better feel, especially for smaller bass drums.
For the snare, I am using Evans Power Center coated and Hazy 300 for Rezo. The snare wires need to be changed as well. For this, I am using a Pure Sound Custom 20. I think they look really great with the new heads. The next task is to clean the cymbals. For that I'm using what I can just find at home. The chrome polishing paste being tested first to clean the cymbals. Well, it doesn't make too much difference. The next one is a kitchen stainless steel cleaner. Ok, it works better, but still not good enough. Now I am testing two promising products, kitchen cleaner cream and ceramic cooking surface cleaner. Ok, let's do some scouring. Well, this side looks really great. Some more scouring on the other side. And I think we have a winner. Let's see what the ceramic cooking surface cleaner can do with the top of this ride. Wow, that's great. Clean and shiny. Krašlice is the name of the city where Amati drums and cymbals were made. Remember this hole. After I removed the old painting from the hoop, the hole was filled with filler paste, then I sanded it, and finally the hoop had been painted before I put the wrap on. And after that I came across this picture, which shows that the hole actually has its purpose. A small screw goes into it and this screw helps to hold the kick pedal in place. That's why the claw of the pedal has a hole as well. Luckily I found the screw in a matching size, so I can restore the original plight.
For correcting this dent, I have bought some nail polish and glitter powder. I have tested them first and the results look satisfying. So, let's cover up that spot. That's it guys, I have finished the project. If you enjoyed the videos, hit the like button. And if you are curious about the sound of the drum set, then check out the next video. In order to be sure you won't miss it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.